Welcome to the second tutorial of electrical estimation. In the first tutorial, we learned about the basics of electrical estimation and what is electrical estimation all about. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about construction drawings. How to analyze and visualize these drawings. What's the layout of these drawings? And in what order these drawings are arranged? So guys, I have opened a set of drawings for a project. This project has total of 90 drawings. The first page is called the cover page. Cover page enlists project name, its address. Below this address, you can see an animated image also for this project. If we move downward, here you will see the information and addresses about the architect and other designers who helped in developing these drawings. If we move toward the right upper side of this drawing, here you will see a date. This is the date when these drawings were issued for bidding purposes. This is the second drawing. It is called general drawing. This drawing has abbreviations. Uh, these abbreviations will be used in the detailed drawings. Like you can see here, AP. AP is used for access panel. So wherever in the coming drawings you will see this abbreviation, it would mean access panel. On the right side, you will see the sheet index. Sheet index has two things. First, the sheet number. Second, the sheet name. Sheet number is the number given to the drawing and sheet name tells about the nature of the drawing. Sheet number and sheet name are usually printed at the bottom of the drawing. As you can see here on this drawing. And this will be the format used for all drawings. Now the purpose of sheet index is to give an idea about the nature of the project. Like here you can see two general drawings, then there are architectural drawings, structural drawings, mechanical, plumbing, fire protection, electrical and food service drawings. Our focus would be electrical drawings. So the first drawing of electrical is numbered as E D 1.00 and what does it its title says site plan electrical demolition this would be the drawing where demolition of site work site electrical work will be shown then in second drawing first floor plan electrical demolition here we will do the demolition for the first floor floor second drawing is numbered as ed 1.01 and its title says first floor plan electrical demolition on this drawing electrical demolition for first floor will be shown third drawing is electrical site plan on this drawing new work for site will be shown. Similarly, there are some other drawings. First floor plan electrical lighting, first floor plan electrical power, first floor plan electrical systems, first floor plan electrical cable tray routing, and same for the second floor plans. So now we have basic idea about the cover page and 
general drawing cheat index uh, we have uh, can we have known the extent of uh, electrical work that will be performed in this project after having this idea we will directly move to electrical drawings this is the first electrical drawing it is for the demolition being carried out at first floor on the right side there is a electrical legend this legend represents different symbols and tells their description for example the first symbol is for duplex receptacle second is for double duplex receptacle third one is for simplex receptacle fourth one is for disconnect switch and so on so forth we will learn about these symbols more in the upcoming tutorials when we will upload these drawings on plan swift for the time being we are just going through drawings and being familiar with the symbols and the type of work being carried out this is the second drawing it is about the side demolition work sometimes on drawings there are keyed electrical nodes these nodes are for the explanation of the work being carried out which is not clear from the symbols after demolition we are to carry out the new work this is the site new work plan drawing site work is something which is outside the building it could it could be about uh, lighting poles being installed or primary service carried out to utility transformer or any other related work when we are done with the site work we move inside the building here you can see this is the drawing for lighting being installed on first floor you can see here different symbols for different lighting and circuitry being carried out from these lighting to panel boards the next drawing is about electrical power at first floor here you can see different devices being installed it could be receptacles distribution boards panel boards junction boxes and telecom outlets This new drawing is about low voltage systems. Here we are to carry out the installation of low voltage devices. It could be file arm drive devices, TV outlets, access points, or any other low voltage devices that could be installed. Then we move to the next drawing. This drawing tells us about the cable tray. Cable tray is something which carries cables and we don't need to install conduits for each cable. Moving forward to the other drawing. Now now we start from second floor. We will install lighting for second floor, then power devices then low voltage systems and cable tray for second floor this new drawing is about low voltage systems here we are to carry out the installation of low voltage devices it could be file arm drive devices tv outlets access points or any other low voltage devices 
that could be installed. Then we move to the next drawing. This drawing tells us about the cable tray. Cable tray is something which carries cables and we don't need to install conduits for each cable. Moving forward to the other drawing. Now, now we start from second floor. We will install lighting for second floor, then power devices, then low voltage systems, and cable tray for second floor. Electricity enters the building and is connected to the main distribution panel board, which is also called a switchboard. Then from switchboard, it is supplied to sub-panels. The wiring that connects switchboard to panels is called feeders. Feeder sizes would be different depending upon the sizes of sub-panels. After riser diagram, there are details drawings and then schedules for panel boards. From these schedules, we can know about the circuitry and which lighting and power devices will be connected to which panel board. For example, if we move to the schedule of panel 1C, circuit number 1 says Receptacle encoder column number 5. Then we move to the next rank. It is also about the schedules of panel boards. Then there are some enlarged plans. Enlarged plans are the one which can't be shown on the main plan drawings. So we cut them from main plan and show them on a different drawing. Then there are further some more detailed drawings. After there is a file arm riser diagram. And there are more detailed drawings. Then there are symbols for the electrical work. And schedule for lighting fixtures. The schedule tells us about the manufacturer and model of lighting fixtures. That's it from electrical drawing. This is the end of second tutorial. In this tutorial, we learned about the basics of electrical drawings. We had an overview of all the drawings. In the upcoming tutorials, we will learn about the functionality of PlanSwift and how to design the Excel sheet. Thank you.